<laughs> it's whenever you want I, it to be. I guess you can make it now. <laughs> it's now. Well, hold on. Wait. Wait. Oh, it's, it's now. 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 Okay. okay. Now, now. Now, now. Wait. No, no. What happened we, we to then? It. We missed it. When? We missed it. No. Just Welcome. Uh, it, it'll, it'll come back. It'll Welcome. come back. Yeah, yeah, we'll just replay the whole damn thing. Welcome to the show about... Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> now it's going to go on forever. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's the reverse. That was last time. <laughs> we're, we're just rewinding the tape. This is for uh, Dilo. It makes us heart happy. Do it again. Yeah. <laughs> makes us heart happy. There we go. This is a show about everything and nothing all at once. With the goal of bringing a little tumor to your day, we really kicked it off to uh, quite, quite humorously today. Indubitably. Like us, love us, or hate us, we're proof that there, there is, is a, a better, better podcast. podcast. Cast. Guest, guest, guest. With me today to my um acrossies. <laughs> acrossies. Acrossies. Uh, I'm Dilo. I caught him in mid gulp of his um, Mountain Dew, so thanks. Oh, for... we're dressed up today, so I am. Yes. Welcome to the jungle, baby. You're, You're gonna, gonna die. die. Oh, good luck with that. Man, he's gonna do that dance in a moment. We just, that, we that, just uh, fine. What's that? The fine. axle sway. We yeah. Did, yeah, we did yeah. some clipping there. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Lots Dilo, of clips. Dressed like Axel, uh, Axel. or Rody. I, I like the Rody. I feel I, like you look like I, a Rody. I'm down with Rody too because I am wearing the merch of, the merch. <laughs> of Guns N' Roses. So. I don't ergo, know if Axel, he might have. Here go. Is is that gauche in in? Podcast world, no. yeah, sure. Why not? In, in band culture, I actually What's think that? I remember him wearing it in the video. Really? Okay, I think see, I remember him okay. wearing it in and the video. A, and that's the thing. If you might 80s. as well promote, yeah. is I what I'm saying. I think that was the thing. Yeah, okay. yeah. 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 yeah that's enough. my thought. To my left is nobody. To my right, however, is the fantastical Raphael. Raphael today joining us from. He's decided to go uh, separate from his his own brothers and join us in the podcast today. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> if you don't know which Raphael we were talking about. I was talking about the painter, but, you know. <laughs> That's good enough of that. Yeah. He, oh, my God. Wow. He really wants to reverse us today. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. I got to talk about I got to talk about Raphael. We'll, we'll get to that in a second. Why I'm Raphael. They're heroes in a half show. And, and they're, they're green. Green. Yeah, I thought it was mean. I guess it's not. These turtle boys. The evil shredder of They're not cutting any slack to anybody. Attacks. 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 But let's, let's go ahead and get the rundown. <laughs> He's an accountant. Yes. <laughs> go ahead. Filthy ninja teams? Yeah. Is that what they say? Ooh. Okay. He does machines. He does I like machines. I feel like why, why would he do machines? I don't, I don't He's know. kinky turtle. It's a little classist because they live in a sewer. It's just They're calling him filthy. <laughs> Okay, that's all you that's need it. to know. There it is. Raphael's there it is. cool, there it is. But, but rude. rude. Yes, I I think that's so. This is your favorite, yeah, of the four because he's an asshole. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's an asshole. He's an it's asshole. an it's an honest answer. So got to give yeah. you props on he that. He likes it. Thanks. And how many times have you worn? This is a costume you've had for a while. Yeah, I've had for like several years. Because yes. I should say that we've bought nothing. No, right? we're just she was asking out of the closet. based on the smell. Really, is no. is where she was going with that. Yeah, well, it's been in my basement. <laughs> All year from last Halloween, I, I did it. Or was it two years ago? I don't remember when I last. Uh, no, it was last Halloween. Yeah, I, last, had, a, I yeah. had a gig and I broke it out. Okay. And, you played uh, drums in that? I did. Oh, it's got a stink. I think you're right. Stink. You're right. Yeah. I think it is funk now. Yep, it's it's all it's all the funk. All the funk is there. All right, so you're getting George uh, Clinton. They got nothing on this funk. I am getting you industrial Febreze for Christmas. <laughs> I bought that Lumi. Oh, you could just spray it on yeah. the stinky parts and, and you know, throw thing, it in the wash. The whole thing is the stinky <laughs> all the bio part. stuff from stuff. It's really good. Anyway, so who are promote. you? So I'm Sarah. Hi. Um, today no, I'm dressed Sarah. up as for Halloween. Oh, there we go. I have. Mentioned it in, I think it was, I don't remember whose episode it was. Was it your episode? It was two we were episodes talking about ago. Halloween no, I think costumes? it might have been mine. Two or three. It so my aspirational yeah. Halloween costume that As- I hadn't, aspirational. aspirational, that I hadn't actually done yet was Janice Ian from Mean Girls. So here I am. I tried to do the hair. I got a lot of black eyeliner on. Yeah. I think we all need to take a photo at the end of this and post it on the socials the, for yeah. later. Just so everybody just appreciates I agree. the effort that we put in for today. Yeah. So is the RBF, is that, is that part of the uh, costume too? <laughs> So she's she's like the anti-hero of the movie. 
Oh, the RBF is a part oh. of it. It's just me. It is. Yeah. Oh, there yeah, we go. That's what I was going for. I, maybe that's part of the charm. Part of her charm. Charm. It's part of her charm. Charmed, you know. I, I am kidding. Your face is lovely. Ah, it's fine. It's um, fine. It's a lot of black eyeliner. I'm not used to wearing any eyeliner at all. You know, neither am I. Yeah, and, and it uh, works on it you. It does work. Yeah, it works. You know, it really brings good. out the red in my mask. <laughs> Uh, this yeah. mask is also CDC uh, certified. Uh, hey, we want to hear from you. What are you doing for your Halloween? Happy Halloween. Today is that day, and this is exciting, and uh, we're glad you're joining us. And uh, if you want to email us, we want you to do that at uh, there is a better podcast at gmail.com or, you know, share us through your costumes on the Chagram. I did it out of order. The Chagram. I did it out of order. Tony, what's the Chagram? There is a better podcast. There you go. And the it's Twitter. <laughs> That's it. Not very exciting. And the Twitter? Oh, on D-Lo. the Twitter, you can get us at uh, There is a Better and then the number one. There we go. Uh, one, 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 one. There we go. One, one, so, yeah, like you said, like you said, happy Halloween from the crew. Yeah. We're all dressed up to scare ourselves. I don't know. Yeah. Not really. Yeah. It's a fun time. But we are going to scare ourselves. That eyeliner is very scary. It is. Yeah, you're enjoying it. I can tell. <laughs> I added extra. Um, lots and lots. It's fall- It's like Tammy Faye Baker is sitting in our in your place. I'll be really honest. I had to YouTube how to put on eyeliner. I have never worn eyeliner. Really? And I am of a certain age. Okay. I should know how to do this. I would think the so. The funny thing yeah, is... It was not a thing that was inherent to me. Is this the first time you've worn eyeliner? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Yeah. I've already beat you to the punch. I've Dang. worn eyeliner twice. Did you have to YouTube it? No. Uh, no, you just I had went somebody for put it? it? I had somebody put it on for oh, me. Oh, look at you. Actually, I, I take that back. I think I might have done a little bit of it, but the majority of it, somebody else did for me. Sure. little little helping hand. A little help from your little friends. A little helping hand. You know? Sure, sure, sure. Um, so today, we are going to scare ourselves, yeah. actually, and talk about change. Oh, my God, change! Yeah, we're going to yeah. read a famous movie s- horror movie scene oh my God. in vaudeville style. I really, I'm really curious to see how that's going to go. Um, we're going to share an SNL skit, and I'm going to bring a better recommendation... That will make your jaw drop. Ah, jaws! But first, we're going to fall into the word hole. Into the word hole, into the word hole. I feel like we're done with the song. Yeah, I'm, I got to fade it. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm on it. I'm, I'm on it. I'm on I'm it. On I got the word it. Like, blue you on it. Oh, you do? Yeah, you ready? Well, how yeah, about do it. that? <clears throat> Our word for today. <clears throat> you ready? Because I feel like it's important. I'm going to use my important. best robot voice important. for this. You ready? Oh, you're going to do it yourself. Oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ready? Tempered. <laughs> that really sounds like you. That was really <laughs> yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. Can you what? do that? I bet you couldn't do that a second time. Let me give it a you shot. Know, I forgot ready? to test my audio. <clears throat> here we go. This here we go. Bad. <laughs> Tempered. Oh, it's even oh. better the second yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Actually, You're getting really good I, at that. I have been working on it, so I'm glad you guys noticed. Are you like that TikTok voice, too? Uh, you blah, 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 blah. I fucking hate that TikTok voice. Tempered. The TikTok voice. I don't know what the TikTok voice is. Um, You're talking to a cat that has never been on TikTok. 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 Yeah, we'll, we'll, his entire TikTok. We, we may life. address that in a future show. <laughs> yeah, and life. that's perfectly yeah, fine. Have you ever, ever, ever I, in your TikTok I, life? I don't see myself doing it. So what is tempered? Tempered. Is a tempered word. Tempered is, uh, hold on. Tempered now I just lost my page. the fruit of you want me to tell you that too? mother. Heavy yeah, go ahead. You go ahead. You go ahead. You're already there. Uh, having, having specified temper or disposition. Thank Ill-tempered. Like distemper? Quote, unquote, is what they've got below. Ill-tempered. Oh, like sea bass. Like sea bass, exactly. Sea bass. It, yes, actually, that's what it says here. It says, Are they ill-tempered sea Ill-tempered bass? Ill-tempered like sea bass. <laughs> <laughs> you're shitting me. Yes. Like sea bass. Yes. Like, yes. Like you're, sea as bass. in you're dumping me into the toilet. I am shitting all over you, yes. I feel like yes. this is a word you know, that we should get very comfortable with right now. To get shit on? People yeah. just need to like temper themselves. People pay good money to get shit on. What do they call that? The Stanley Steamer? Is that what it is? <laughs> oh my God. What? <laughs> That's the Cleveland Steamer, but if you want to get that cleaner... Ooh. Call one eight hundred. Well, see the steamer. Stanley steamer involves okay, the cleanup afterwards. <laughs> so I'm meaning this term. I'm meaning this this word today in relation to how we are handling everyday things. So we need to temper ourselves. Okay. I'm not relating it to um, such as hardened glass or steel, okay. which I guess is another part of the definition. But huh. no. So you're saying it in the terms of we need to keep a tempered. We need to like temper ourselves. Temper just ourselves. like everybody, just calm I see that. I see down because okay. it feels. Like things are getting pretty intense lately. Yeah. So I just want to, you know, everybody just 
temper yourselves. Calm down. Calm the fuck Calm down. Calm the fuck down. Now do we feel that is Put due to the political environment? In time out. I feel like it's due to a lot of environment. It's not quite just related to that. No? There are, well... <laughs> No, really. I'll get that. I'll get into the. You change. want to fucking fight about it's this? It's not at all. <laughs> it's part. I think you need of, to temper yeah, yourself. I know, I know, I know. You were like the last person to ever say, "Like, let's go fight about this." And <laughs> hey. I'm going to take you seriously for even a moment. Like, hey, do you want to go fight about this? <laughs> now, Tony, he could say it like that, and he might actually mean I it. I might actually mean it. <laughs> he That's might, yeah. He will say it in that. I tone. can see that. Raphael is cool, but, but rude. rude. Right, right. Oh, I keep wanting to say, "But an asshole." But I guess they can't See, say that in the children's. Uh, yeah. Uh, all right. Raphael is cool, but, but an, an asshole. asshole. So, Michelangelo is not an asshole, but he <laughs> likes pizza. Woo! Uh, <laughs> Donatello so. likes assholes of, <laughs> of machines. <laughs> Leonardo leads them into the machines. Bunch of fucking assholes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Go. Wow. Donatello so got his dick. So this leads me into my better machine. recommendation. Oh. Not a not at all. Um, occasionally, the spouse and I, I'll say it's a he. So we <laughs> okay. occasionally will wake up in the morning, like early in the morning, and, and we'll you'll catch temper this yourself. channel. Wait, wait, wait. What, we'll did, you, what did you call him? You need, you need to back. The yeah, spouse. You, you said it's a spouse. I oh, said so you said spouse and, spouse and I. Mm-hmm. I said Is that what you said? Our, yeah, mm-hmm. my spouse oh, so and yeah, I. I thought you were going français. I, th- I thought you said Oh no. Oh, oh no! Oh no! I don't know. I don't know what there is. I don't know what that no, is. No, it's it was fiance, not. but it's not that's a word. long gone. It's not a word. Go. <laughs> okay. Anyway, wow, that's long gone. That was so what long ago. Oh, shit, God. we've been married for ever. Long anyway, time. Anyway, so occasionally we'll get up in there early in the morning and we'll catch these old movies on TV. Mm-hmm. Um, and we caught this movie called The Sad Horse. Oh God! It is from 1959, and it doesn't have anybody in particular that I know. Um, we we did a little search, a little searching. We like I don't know any of these actors, but it's seventy seven minutes. Number one, how many movies are even seventy seven minutes anymore from like, that none. time frame? I mean, oh, okay. from today. From today, yeah, I know. Yeah. I just read that the new Avatar movie is running over three hours long. Oh, wow, God, I know, right? I'm like, does you that know, movie come with minutes. a uh, intermission and a sleeping bag, and a right. and a what is those? What are those things? A diaper? Oh yeah, <laughs> a diaper. Um, yeah. I, seriously. So what's the opposite of Xanax? Uh, I, I don't know, but it that's keeps a you lot awake. of movie, man. That's a like that's, five hour energy That's drink. too much movie. So this particular movie is 1959 and you know, there's things that have changed since 1959 that you can't no. maybe do you or say know. in society. You don't say. And we had some jaw dropping moments in this movie. <laughs> Literally, the kid, this 10-year-old boy, it's about this 10-year, it's actually about the 10-year-old boy. This 10-year-old polio-stricken boy, oh boy. is dumped off Oh, it's by Michael Jackson's favorite movie. His dad Ooh. to his the grandpa's, yeah. to his grandpa's place, um, who owns a horse farm. And so this horse farm horse. is visited by this woman who's in a bad marriage, and she, like, is a horse owner, and she loves her horse and it's horse. about her horse that's sad because it's dog that had been its buddy had died and so it's not doing well it's not performing well hmm. well this little boy yeah. who came over um uh, her the owner's grandson um he has a dog and the dog is making the horse happy so she's trying to convince this kid to sell his dog to make her horse perform better <laughs> <laughs> this Why don't poor they just... kid I was like he's got <clears throat> polio his parents dumped him off like, well no his dad I'm sorry because his dad went away to Las Vegas to get married to a new mom that he's never met P.S. Uh-huh. so the dad shows up at the end of summer and says hey I'm gonna hey, get some milk remember that milk I went out what? for the other day I just got remarried in Las Vegas this is Sheila let's all go home and have a great life together and then he says dad what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas you creep and so anyway, it gets I'm going to give you, I'm going to blast you with polio. I gets, absolutely love the uh, poster art for this. Isn't it great? It gets worse because <laughs> the husband of the, um, the horse owner. Horse. I mean, I, I'm going to be honest. The, I'm sorry. The, the three in the corner look like they're getting ready to have a threesome. That's, that's yeah. what I see. I yeah, that's you, the and, and the dog's begging. Oh, and, the, and the horse wants to perform. That's the grandpa. Oh, the horse is just black and white with uh, the kid. Yeah. And the dog is there. The dog's in color. Yeah. 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 So anyway. the couple is in the corner that's having marital problems, you find out. And this is the line. This is the line that blew it's our minds. Slack. Not only just, uh, you know, what was going on with this poor kid and the, and the dog and everything. 
and the shitty advice that he's getting from his dad about, you know. Yeah. Anyway, the the husband of the horse owner, he shows up and she doesn't want to go back with him. And it's apparently because he struck her. So mm. now you've got domestic violence. Oh, involved. And I was like, oh my wow, God, this, this movie, movie is, is so layered. It's 77 minutes. There's a lot it's happening. There's a lot going on. And so he, at one point, he's, this husband is having a conversation with a 10 year old boy who, by the way, is the only adult in the room when they're having conversations. <laughs> if you watch God. this movie, he is the voice of reason. He is sane. <laughs> he has perspective. It's really something. And the boy's name is John Wayne. And the husband is telling this little boy um, because he learns that she told him that he, he struck her. And he tells this 10-year-old polio-stricken boy, sometimes the only way to deal with a woman is to hit her. Oh, <laughs> wow. Holy wow. cow. We were, like, we were like, what just happened? Oh, and my. He, Look. Damn it, he God. meant it. Damn it, he meant it. So he's cool, wow. but rude. He is not cool. I don't even Wait. think he's rude. He's no. just an asshole. Raising his hand <laughs> yes. like Axel. a child. Yes, Axel? What was his reaction, the kid's reaction? <laughs> oh, I mean, he wasn't buying it. Like oh, I said, only right, the only adult right, in the room. Right. The only adult in the room. This kid had, like, I'm not joking. He's, See, he's the only... when you find a stranger in the house? <laughs> yeah. He's the reason to watch the movie because... <laughs> he literally is rational about everything. Wow. He has perspective on everything. I mean, 10 years so old sad. with polio, you got to get ahead of that perspective, yeah. right? He ended up having to grow up pretty quick at the end of that summer because <laughs> yeah. the lady yeah. was yeah. bribing the, the grandpa with like, I'm the- going to give him $5,000 to take his dog and put it towards a college scholarship because it's making my horse happy. So the end of the movie, not to spoil it, because I don't really know if anybody's going to watch a sad horse from 1959, but I encourage you to do it. It turns the camera to him crazy. and he says, "This was the best summer ever." Not quite, <laughs> not quite, but um, but it does have some crazy, <laughs> crazy statements. But the kid, again, he's the only adult in the room. He ends up letting the dog go, and he like does the mature thing, and he's like, "You know what? I'm ready to go home. I'm gonna face my new school year." And like, he's walking with a limp and the whole time. And I'm like, why is he walking with a limp? And when I found the description, I found out that was why. I was like, no wonder why so they, he's they, overcome so much. They don't actually devolve that in the movie itself? He ends up selling the dog. He no, gets, the, the, oh. The, they don't tell you that he has polio or not? I think, I think they told me at the beginning, but I missed like the first five oh, minutes. So, right. but it was funny because we knew nothing about this movie. And the whole time my husband's like, wait, what? Who is this? How is this relationship? And I'm like, look. This is his dad. He just showed up with a new wife. That woman's not the same woman because he thought the women, the two women were the same. I'm like, no, they're not the same woman. So I was having to like explain the whole time. But um, it, it's just so weird how movies from back then. Did you smack him afterwards? We I, smacked each other. Oh, okay. That's yeah. nice. That's you know, nice. I smacked first and it, it allowed him to smack me back. Right? Well, that's that, how it works. I right? Th- I think that's is actually. Is that right? That actually. <laughs> that joking. actually Don't do any of that. Well, I mean. In, in the right context, that does kind of work. I'm not I mean, unless lie. you're smacking each other's ass for fun or whatever. But Fifty Shades kind of a thing. I'm just, just saying. You know, if, as long as everything's mutual, but that was not Wow, mutual. that is some effed up stuff. That was a crazy, crazy movie. I haven't seen anything that like that stated in a movie in such a way and it's it was shocking i was shocked oh, i'm yeah. shocked i'm shocked oh yeah speaking I'm of sure. shocking what is this <laughs> is this is this something you're doing now it's, it's something that you might recognize i just wish it didn't take oh, so right, fucking right, long right. to yeah so people, ahead, that continue. Are, people that are younger won't know this song <laughs> this is an I old song by song. now oh this is, well uh, you'll get to know it then are you gonna wait for it to say the line okay I thought so. Oh, I don't no, want to transition I, to my no, next segment with this. I can't. With this, happening. Uh, this, no, this that, is taking yeah. way too fucking long. I do know this to get to that's the joke. They, yeah. yeah, but that's, wait, they wait for the beat drop. They wait for the beat drop, right? Is it, is it here? No, it's a long no. ways away. Oh well, there's a beat. There's a drop. beat. There's, yeah. yeah, there's some droppage. I forgot the who's the artist formerly known as Prodigy. 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 Right. Prodigy. Cool. Yeah. God, probably. that was not 1996 worth it. or 7? Sure. Something like that. Prodigy, smack my bitch up. There that, you was, go. that was worth the joke. Eh, it was to get our content strike Woo. out of the way. You know, my that's a God. good point that you bring up because we haven't done that very many. Uh, we haven't I, done that I know too we're much. slacking. Yeah. Yeah. So, you so, know, artists need money. We've been very tempered. 
tempered, yes, because in movies you can't do that anymore, and change is hard. So I had a hard conversation the other day um, about change, and apparently it really makes people very anxious. They really like to change. live in the change. Yeah. 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 We they were like talking about, past. yeah, I was talking with a, a parent. And a parent. And there's some changes that have been going on locally in my school district that they had some concerns about. And it was a really interesting conversation because it really put it into perspective how how just because things were done in like 1959 a certain way, <laughs> the things that are happening now kind of impact people in different ways that maybe they can't relate to, right? Things have changed. Mm. And I have to, I have these conversations and I'm like, I try and keep it tempered, honestly, Ooh. because it's tempered. real hard. Tony's Tempered. raising his hand. I, I just had a question about one of the things that was changing. Oh. If I may. May, so may I dig it's it? Oh, actually, go ahead, go no, ahead. no, I was going to tell you. It, oh, it's around yeah. Halloween. It was oh. around Halloween at the yeah. elementary schools. They yeah. decided to, and they're not the first in the area, they decided to take the Halloween parade and the parties out of the school for the elementary And a lot of people had what? very strong feelings <laughs> about it because um, it Could, was always there. Can they still dress up? Nope, no costumes. Oh, no costumes. No costumes, no party, really? no parade. Wow. It was just and and the thing is is that it was announced, it wasn't a conversation with the community. What was the rationale? It was, um so too that many was, furries asking for uh, <laughs> litter, boxes. litter boxes. No, yeah. none of that. But <laughs> yeah. Um so the way that the letter was um shared out from the committee that made this decision, which that kind of rubbed committee. me the wrong way. It was a committee. <laughs> Um, was it was around equity, it was around cost, um, it was around um, the time it took away from teaching, learning. from learning, okay. right? And um, I I fully understand because I just got out of that whole space not that long ago. I saw what was happening. And I thought it was out of control myself, to be honest with you, because it it's fine when it's just the kids in the costume and you're mm -hmm. having the party and they're doing the parade. Sure. But it ends up being this huge um, financial kind of big production thing. Hmm. The teachers have to coordinate and organize the day. They have to get food organized. They have to get donors because nobody's – school's not paying for any of this. And why this is all on the it? teacher. I just, this is I, all I, on the teacher. I don't recall, like, as a child having that big of a to-do around was a the whole huge, thing. It, and that's the thing yeah. is I think when people look at it, they think it it's still you, small. Yeah, it you, is you not. You dress up, and then there's yeah. this point that you parade around into the different classrooms. Yeah, no, that's, that's, that's what I thought I that was I can tell you too. right now. So it's become a big production. It's become a huge production. Oh, not only are you having to provide food – you're also having to provide um, entertainment, um, supplies, the strippers, you supplies for cars. games, supplies for games in the classroom, and there has to be strippers. multiple stations of games, and then that means it takes multiple. It takes a lot of parents to help coordinate oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. all of that. That's a lot. You have going a sign-up sheet. Yeah, you that's have to, ridiculous. It's a lot, and a then lot I'll, going and then on, I'll, and then so the response <laughs> I got, I'm gonna tell uh -huh. you right now. The other piece, I said, you know what, in costumes, because I was trying to explain this to my parent. Sure. Um, because they were all like, in my day, I was a pirate every year. And I'm like, but you don't understand. That's not good enough anymore. It's all been very competitive. It's very costly. You can't get your kid a costume for less than 30 or 40 yeah, bucks a kid. Right. Yeah. And they can't just have some Holly Hobby one. It's not good enough because then there's they this feeling outdo. of other. Right. And I'm sorry, but the parents are still clicky. Hmm. And it's just all of that stuff that's impacting the kid, the wow. parent, the environment, so the you're, activities. You're saying that the adults are the problems. I feel like the adults are the problems. You so you're right. Finally, it used to be simple and fun. You it know, used to you be know, simple yeah, and fun. Yeah, you no longer have kids in elementary school, no. but you then, based on what you're saying, you agree with it. I don't agree with the way that they did it. Okay. I wish I wish they had had um, more than just the committee. I wish they engaged the community. In my, in my opinion, I wish they engaged the community and didn't just cut it out. It. Like yeah. they just cut it. Mm -hmm. With no conversation. Yeah, that's, that's kind of wrong. I wish they had decided, you know, like, we're looking at doing things differently next year. Let's talk about how we can make this more equitable. Mm -hmm. Because that's kind of what it falls back on, to me, in my mind. So, anyway, change is hard. Change is scary. I don't like the way that they did it. And I think it's a bummer for, I think it is a bummer for the kids. I'm not going to lie, you know. I But I don't stamp my feet and say, you know, because they did it this way in my day. Yeah. Like, I, I have feelings about, you know. 
it's a lot of impact. I guess there's no way you so, can account for the the whole uh, keeping up with the Joneses, is, is, even though that, that was never a thing when I was a kid. I don't. Same here. Right? I mean, yeah. find my day. Says the guy with the glorified Raphael no, costume. <laughs> I bought this for myself. If I had kids, Tony, they would be screwed. But that, still, the point and you, is. You are right. They'd I be Donatello. They'd be oh Michelangelo. My God. All right, I got to be... start. If anybody wants to help me have <laughs> some kids just to make an entire Turtles <laughs> Right, family, and, 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 get and I have it, seen uh, you a better podcast just you sitting in the recliner, and they're gender watching neutral. TV. You can just do whatever; it doesn't yeah. matter. It doesn't matter. Kids okay. can be doing it. Kids can be. So anyway, I shared a link with you guys about ch- other changes because this really awesome news article just came out. Oh. As we were talking about change, people are pointing out things it's through BuzzFeed. People are pointing out things that are, for better or worse, have disappeared since the pandemic, and people are not handling some of it very well. So, a couple of these I thought were really interesting. Number two on the list is. Places being open late. I don't know if you guys noticed, but there are places yep. that close at like four, yep. five, yep. six. Yep. And I'm like, how am I supposed to eat anything? Like, where am I supposed to go? Right. I, I, I am not even sure. You would know better than I do because I don't really go out that much anymore. Do the bars stay open until 2 a.m. in Michigan Depends anymore? Depends on where you go. I think and it's And that's the thing is, is I think a lot case. of the times I've I've gone to some place to go. And in the rare occasion that I'm up after midnight these right. days. Right, right. Um, it's been closed. And I'm like, this is a bar. What the hell? Yeah. Yeah. Because what, what hours do they typically get their most um, business? About 10 About to, 10 10 to, to midnight? About 10 to midnight, I yeah. would think. Yeah. So typically, I would say if you're staying open till 1 because you're getting a last call at midnight or 1230 or whatever, sure. you're probably getting the most out of your, you know, your top night, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And if not, you're missing out on, on income for your place. And then also staffing just seems like it's short everywhere. Yeah, you know? there is that. So even if you go someplace to eat, like you're going to be waiting longer. We've noticed that quite a bit as well. Just waiting longer. For Hopefully stuff. this isn't already on your list. But the other thing that I've noticed is, and I, I, I say this with some reluctance, but Drum I have roll. noticed that the service industry, uh, like a lot of the service you get is pretty freaking bad. <laughs> Well, I, I think yeah, that has a lot to do with, with the shortage of work staff, though. It, it could be. Because if you had 12 people at one point that got it, your food and your drinks and everything out, you know, created and out to you and all that stuff in like 20 minutes, now it's half of that. If you're lucky, you know, six people, you got the cooks, you mm-hmm. got the, you know, wait staff, you've got whoever to get that out to you. And it's going to take yeah. twice as long. That's and just, that's, that's the new pandemic. I, I'm yeah. bummed about the fact that I, I'm still tipping well, even though it's really bad service. I think that was like number six on yeah. here. Okay. Yeah. Eating then at we'll a wait. restaurant. We'll come back no, around. no, I'm not going in any particular oh, order, okay. but I feel like go ahead and scroll. And if something seems like it's something that you've encountered, yeah. that's why I'm kind of, so yeah, eating at a restaurant might be more affordable. Pre pandemic, it was easy to get a meal for $10. Now the same meal costs 20 right. or more with mm-hmm. the tip also mm-hmm. doubling. Um, the one I also thought is you were talking about restaurants is they're limiting their menu. Like when you go to places, their menu is way scaled back than what it used to be. Mm -hmm. Probably Um, for the sake of efficiencies, maybe, maybe because some things are just too expensive. Well, now there's inflation or, you know, just cost of everything. Oh, that's not a thing. Never mind. (laughs) I'm not saying that. Um, I will say number 10 really strikes me because it was talking about kids' social skills. Um, you're not, uh, for the bit. Oh yeah, yeah. You're not supposed to strike women. (laughs) Only if they strike first. Just not true. Not true. Not true. Nobody's striking anybody. Just stop it. The empire strikes stop back. It. Yes. Yes. We do, we do not support that. We do not Here support. There is a better strike. <laughs> <laughs> so the impact of kids who, you know, weren't able to get that in-person school for a couple of years, it does seem like maybe their social skills are lacking even more. And it was hard enough because they were already not talking to each other in person to begin with. They were already connecting with each other, you know, texting. And and right. then now it's even further moved because they didn't see each other. For two years. For two years. And they're behaving maybe not quite, not quite at the maturity level where they could be had they been forced to be in person. But it is what it is. I don't hold it against the kids. It's just, it's a challenge. So again, we're back to that statement made earlier. Parents are ruining everything. This generation has created so many things for itself like like smartphones okay i love my smartphone don't get me wrong but it's kind of made us dumber a little bit oh yeah <clears throat> and yeah. now we're blaming like the next generation for being lazy 
because you're on your phone all the time. Well, guess who fucking came up with that? Our generation. Yay. So let's go ahead and remember, anytime that you point at yourself, there are three fingers pointing right back at you. Oh, jeez. Laying down the smiznack today. So I thought this one was interesting. Number 13, snow days. So... There's because no now, day like snow day. Because like now a lot no of people day, can do their work from home. So it's not like just because it snowed, right. you know, you can still work. Oh, but <laughs> so what if, spark up the old computer and <laughs> keep plugging away. <laughs> now, what if you didn't bring your work computer home, though? And what if you had no way to get back to work to pick it up so you could work from home? Says the guy that does not have that ability now. You took your Some zen, people, didn't you? Uh, so yeah. Or do you have a laptop? For you? I have a laptop. Oh, okay. But the thing mind. is like, I have to, I have to plan my days, but I go in every day just because yeah. I, I don't want to be at home all day. I, I like to have, I like the separation. I actually feel like I'm coming home, yeah. a place I live, not just live and work. Um, but yeah, like if, if it, if it snows, you didn't plan for it. And then, and then what do you do? Do you yeah. call in? You say, oh, I can't come in today because it's snowing. They could say, well, you can work from home. And then you say, well, yeah, I don't have my computer. Okay. I would say, I mean, I would say it's not true for everybody, obviously. I mean, people that have to work in person, but if you have the oppor- if you have a type of position where you can work remote and you do have your things with you, I don't mm. I don't have an issue with it personally, but that's me. I mean, when I leave work because I do work, work remote home. 2 days a week yeah. or I work on site 2 days a week, I work remote 3 days a week, but I always bring my laptop home with me. Because I'm gonna, you know, end up working the next day from home. So I guess if it happens, I can still work. But that's, that's not the case for everybody. But yeah. it definitely did change snow days. It's not an automatic. It's right. snowed. Everybody just Stay take the home. day. Yeah. Go build a snowman or whatever the fuck you do on a and snow day. And that's one of the complaints. Snow person. Thank it's, you. It's one <laughs> of the changes. Yeah, that that build was acknowledged in this. Uh, put a carrot in it. Yeah, it was one of the changes. You put the carrot. That's up to you. Yeah. Do you guys prefer? Let me ask you this because it was number one. Do you guys prefer the physical menu at a restaurant? Or do you like the... I do. Do you like the scan and no. look at it on your phone No, I shit? can't stand that shit. You hate it? Hate it. Okay. You like the dirty, like... Yeah, the one with the... menu with that's... The, yes, the ketchup stains, the grease on it. Somebody yes. else's yes. business all over yep, it. Yep, I prefer that, yes. You're just going to like rub it. It's laminated, it's maybe. The, I, I it's actually the rub it all over my body when Perfect. I get that menu. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's a good yes. place for it. And you say thank Shove you to the waitress. Yes. Say, oh, thank yes. God. That uh, is my thing. Uh, it's it's creamy good. goodness. I prefer it only because I can see the entire thing and get yeah. an idea of where I'm going to go. Whereas, like, a f- you guys know me on a phone. I don't like using my phone to look shit up on the internet. I don't like doing things on the phone. I like it when they have both options, actually. I, that's that's fine. What I about like it when a paper they have both version? They just, that's like, fine. I've seen some places before they just print out a piece of paper and then they just drop it on you. So it's not, oh. it's a menu. Physical, yeah, but you can scan it too. Okay. But yeah, it's physical, just printed a little piece of paper. I appreciate when they have both options because I think yeah. having the scan is really presumptuous. It's really presumptuous that everyone's going to have a phone and everyone's going to have, what if everyone's like, going to want to read it that I, way. I agree. And then I will also tell you that sometimes I don't take my phone into places intentionally yeah. because I want you whoever wanna, I'm meeting up with, I want be, to have a conversation to be in the them, moment. Right. Yeah. So sometimes I don't, and I go, oh, can you look up shit up for me? Because <laughs> I don't have a phone. Yeah. Well, it is another way to strike up a conversation. That I is kind, true. <laughs> I kind of wonder if in those places, if you asked for a paper menu, they were, I mean, I bet they have them. You would think? I would think they have a few. Because not everybody, again, is going to be able to do the scan. Yeah. You know, there are certain people that just can't do it that way, or they can't read it that way. It's just... You know, that's that's presumptuous. I have also been to places where they'll have uh, like a, a, a iPad or something and they just have it on there and then they hand they that can to, hand you. It to you. Okay. So, oh, yeah. so you that. still get the dirty menu. There yeah. you go. <laughs> and I still shove that thing down my pants. Here's your iPad back. Back Thank or you. front <laughs> or both. <laughs> oh, my God. On Jeez. that tasty note, I think we're heading into the break. I was going to make a sausage joke. <laughs> Italian. <laughs> <laughs> Kielbasa. Kielbasa sausage. What's the other one? I don't know. Uh, Italian. Polish. Turkey? Oh, Polish. Okay. Turkey dogs. Turkey dogs? Cheese filled dogs. Ugh. Spicy. Jalapeno. Spicy. Oh. Spicy. After the break. 
Tony, something special. Tony's gonna share something special. You got something spicy. Something special. Special, spicy. I don't know if it's spicy, but it's something it's special. Probably not spicy. We're going to attempt to read a famous Hollywood horror movie scene. Famous? In vaudeville style. Ooh, I'm liking I, it. I really want to make it work. Okay, <laughs> we'll see you back after the break. <laughs> not a lot of confidence going on there. Ah, uh, we're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work. 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 Tempered. Tempered. of the podcast house when all of a sudden the neighbors got loud they hitched up a trailer pulled it across the lawn and delivered a feed and fart couch to sit upon it's a podcast. there's a better podcast. better podcast it used to be a smash it last. we devolved in a flash there's a better podcast from the microphone named Diggler I tout. From the bottom of our word hole I shout. There's a better recommendation, or so I've been told. To the highest bidder, we'll sell off the show. It's a podcast. There's a better podcast. Better podcast. It used to be a smash. It didn't last. We devolved in a flash. Better podcast. There's a better podcast with Tattoo Squid. We had fun. He's a trip. Mikey sat in on a long one. Sorry, dude. Pixie's a Twitter savior. Stripper chick. And Tim, Zach, and the Neat Cast. Out from the intros, our names did ring. D-Lo, Sarah, and sometimes Tony. The internet's here, but who's missing? Whatever happened to our friend Double Deer? It's a podcast. There's a better podcast. Better podcast. It used to be a smash. It didn't last. We devolved in a flash. Better podcast. There's a better podcast. Yeah. Hey, duh. Winning. Calm down there. <laughs> Would you just... Bastard, where were you? You are an idiot. You are one pathetic. Kind of sounds like raindrops. Raindrops keep falling on my head. Halloween tree. (laughs) (laughs) Remind me of uh, Beetlejuice. I tried. tried. Yeah, Yeah. that was really good. Thank you. Did your best, Catherine O'Hara. I love her. She's brilliant. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Classy lady. Style for days. Moira. Moira. Canadian, though, you know. No, I'm just kidding. She's 78% (laughs) cool. I would say 99 and a half. No, she's 110. But Get out of here. But for the the conversion rate from Canadian to U.S. dollar. (laughs) Don't say... Aren't there's like more I now? They, I think there's are more so now. So she's 110. They were. No, I, I think a ours, a there was a point where, you, you know, you get the book um, and it's got the U.S. and the Canadian price. Yeah. And there was a point where I remember. It actually was more. <laughs> can it, the Canadian dollar was worth more than yeah, the American Yeah, and I was dollar. like, well, I'll take huh. Canadian. No, yeah. I'll, Canada. Yeah, <laughs> Canadian. I can't remember how that works. You want to take so, Canadian money to spend around in the U.S.? Because yes. <laughs> you get more of it. Right. <laughs> That was that was, your, that, was years, that was years ago. I, I don't know if that's still. You would still owe the U.S. amount. It doesn't matter. Right. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, back to the show. Oh, we're doing a show. That's right. What? Since when? Tony. Hi. We're bringing it back around to you. You have a special something. It's special. I have a special something, and um, <laughs> I'm a special something. What did you say? <laughs> totally missed that. I didn't. Say okay. That. I have a special. Oh, he went I, to share I, something. <laughs> <laughs> special something <laughs> that did not sound right so uh, oh, uh, you know what We're, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and announce it anyway <gasps> somebody had a special day recently 
Oh. Ooh. And a friend That's of the show. Day. Believe it or not, they are a friend of the show. I, I, I checked. Um, they, their ID says friend of the show. Friend of the show. And uh, they had a special message for the person who had a special day mm. just oh. recently. Hey there, Sarah. This is Dave Foley. Uh, only you, you might know that already. I hope you know that. I hope you can recognize uh, this as being Dave Foley. Uh, it's changed a bit, but uh, Tony uh, tells me it's your birthday, or rather than it was your birthday, I think a couple of days ago. Uh, but I'm sending this anyway. I hope it's all right. Uh, and he tells me that you're a big Kids in the Hall fan since day one, he says. Um, I assume day one of the Kids in the Hall and not day one of your life. Uh, be, that'd be weird if you were born and on, on the day of your birth started watching the kids in the hall. It'd be precocious, but very weird. Uh, so uh, I'm assuming that, that that's not the case. Um, but it tells me that you quote the chicken lady and the daddy drank sketch all the time. Uh, and I hope you I hope you still manage to have some friends despite that. <laughs> um, and that you have a wonderful birthday. So there you go. That's me, uh, Dave Foley. Uh, from the kids in the hall, or so I'm told. I'm not a big fan of me, so I don't follow my career very closely. <laughs> the DJ. So, uh, but I've, the DJ. I've, I've the been DJ. told the DJ. that I, that I was DJ. in the kids in the hall. I still am in the kids in the hall because it just won't go away. <laughs> uh, so again, happy birthday from me and Tony. Uh, happy birthday. Uh, Holy fucking shit. Oh, my gosh. That's awesome. Okay. That is awesome. That celebrate was I, I didn't even want to talk because I didn't want to interrupt. Yeah. Dave. Yeah. What the actual fuck? What did you do? It's a friend of the show. No, come on. Oh, come yeah. And uh, to celebrate your special Stop. day, we're also having... Screwball. Screwball. Peanut butter whiskey. Peanut butter whiskey. Screwball. Over Peanut some butter ice. whiskey. Cheers. Holy fucking shit. I was just drinking this last night, too. <laughs> <laughs> You're like... <laughs> Damn, that's good. Oh my, I don't even know what to say. I am speechless. I am speechless. I am speechless. That, that is was awesome. holy shit. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Tony. The conversion Thank rate you, again Dave. from Canada, <laughs> Canada <laughs> to. Well, that was timely. <laughs> that, just, that was not planned. That was not planned. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what to say. Holy shit. <laughs> Doomsday DJ from our favorite Doomsday DJ. Oh favorite man, Doomsday great DJ. Dave that, Foley. That was an absolutely awesome um, skit. We followed him from Kids in the Hall to News Sketch Radio. Um, back to back Kids to in, kids the, in hall. the Hall. God bless him. Glad he's still working. Glad Very he's cool. well. He he was out of the spotlight for a while, for and a while. that's okay too. Yep. That is good. Sometimes good. you just need to. Sometimes you need to need get to the retreat for a little bit, and then you come back. Live when you're a life, ready. damn it! Yep. I'd say that life. gives you a chance to reinvent yourself, usually, but not, yeah. in, not his in his case. case unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. They they mm. they're still. I don't know. I they have that chemistry. I, I finally it's had awesome a chance to. Fi- I finally had a chance to finish the return season, um, and that brought me over to what I forgot about. Death comes to town. Have you seen this? Oh, tell me everything. I oh, you I need to watch. T- I okay. guess I have to watch it again. You know what? No, I'll, I'll, oh, I just... will make it my next recommendation. Okay, perfect. Great. So great, I, great, we great, will great. talk about it then. I am not a. I am not a fair weather fan. I am like, yeah, I am. I'm, I'm in it, it. I'm it was, in it for the long it haul. Was, it was <laughs> it was a, a a show that I remember, and then completely forgot about. Forgot about this too, and then stumbled onto it. Oh, happy, happy birthday oh to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy, you. happy birthday, Screwball Whiskey! Screwball Whiskey. Sarah. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you! you. All right, blow oh, out the one lovely. candle on the cupcake there. There it goes. <laughs> That is Yay. way too much. Oh Yay. my gosh. Mm. How am I going to top shit for this guy's birthday? How do you uh, top that? You're screwed. I actually know exactly Ball, how to top that. Whiskey. Oh, Screwball whiskey. Whiskey. D'Lo got the purple frosting cupcake. I want to know that. Do you want purple or do you want orange? Do you want orange? I'm going purple. You want purple? I just want to uh, let you know. Did you want purple or do you want orange? No, I'm I gave good. you orange, so. I mean, they taste the same. Because it they has do. chocolate. Is, oh, mine's got yours the vanilla. Oh, yeah, mine's yours is vanilla. vanilla. Did That's you want fine. chocolate instead? Nope, I'm I, not picky. I, it doesn't matter. I'm you not don't. picky. I'm not picky at all. I was just going to comment on what that uh, purple frosting does to your mouth. <laughs> and your butt. <laughs> uh, I don't know about anything. 
Wow, this was um, <laughs> this was way more. I just thought he was going to share something about the mugs or I don't know what. We have a mug to give away. We're still looking for people to yeah. send us their stories. But anyway, this was a shock and surprise. I am, I am in shock and I'm in awe. Aww. And I want to hear that again and again and again. Not right now, but I, I'll, I'll revisit send it. Yay! I'll send that to you. I have, like, where am I going to put that? <laughs> it's a recording. Like, I can't show anybody, like, Look at this fucking recording I got. Isn't this dope? I should get back to the uh, script. Okay. It's yeah. on a podcast. It's so, on a podcast. You know. oh, oh, my gosh. Okay. It's there forever, baby. Forever. 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 Thank forever, you, Dave ever. Foley. Forever, Thank you. Forever, forever, ever. Okay. Tony's eating. I'm eating. Very cool, Tony. That's Very fun. cool. Very cool, Tony. Thank you. So, Friend of the um, show. Thank you, Dave. So, I'm not, I'm not Dave thanking Foley. you, but. <laughs> but it was cool. It Dave was. a DJ. Um, <laughs> we're going to get back to the next segment, which is about our Halloween treat. We're going to try... And read this scene, this famous horror movie scene, which I know was... Horror. This movie was on the list of horror movies that uh, Tony shared a couple episodes back. Um, And I know this scene is a favorite of, I think, all of ours. I'm going to play a little bit of it, and then uh, we're going to read it in vaudeville style to the Mm. best of your ability. I like it. Okay, here's the scene. Oh, of course, my sound isn't working. Hold on. Do, 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 yeah, because everybody's going to wait. Do, 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 do. You like Huey Lewis on the news? Uh, they're okay. Their early work was a little too new wave for my taste. But when sports came out in 83, I think they really came into their own, commercially and artistically. Like I said, this is going to be has a clear, crisp sound. challenging. A machine of consummate professionalism <laughs> that really gives the song consummate. a big boost. <laughs> a big boost. <laughs> He's been compared to Elvis Costello, but I think Huey has a far more bitter, cynical sense of humor. Here's his axe. Hey, Albert's trip. Yes, Alan? Uh, Why are the copies of the style section all over the place? Do you, right, right. you, have, a Do you dog? have a dog? A little chow or something? <laughs> <laughs> no, Alan. No, is Alan. Is that a raincoat? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> He's so excited. In 87, Huey released this for the most yeah. accomplished album. I think their undisputed masterpiece is Hip to Be Square. <laughs> The way he shimmies. Most people probably don't listen to the lyrics, but they should, because it's not just about the pleasures of conformity and the importance of friends. It's also a personal statement about the band itself. Hey, Paul! I love it. Well, I think that'll be a lot of strikes for us this time, right? Oh, <laughs> yeah, let's do it. So many strikes. Okay. It's the same song over, <laughs> over and over. Over and over again. Do you need that song? I no, no, I'm good. Up. I'm okay. good. I did give you guys a link to the script. Okay. So I don't know if one of you can pick to be uh, Bateman and one of you can pick to be Owen, which I guess is, you know, the un... Oh, that's the name of my football, fantasy football team, Owen, Owen 6. Next week, <laughs> Owen 7. <laughs> I thought you were going to say Owen Money. Oh, I like that one. You've I'll never be, oh, heard that? No, I, I've, I've never. I'm not that smart. We Jesus consider Christ that for one of Saints. our. We consider that for one of our boys' names. Yeah, Owen, and that was the first response we got. Oh, like Owen Money, and we were like, uh, well, that, uh, well, that uh, name's out. That, that name's <laughs> sorry to anyone named Dun. Owen, but yeah. Owen, you have a stupid name, and your parents are dummies. <laughs> You're fine. It's just your parents are dummies. Dummies. Okay. So, I, like I said, I feel like this is going to be a challenge, but I feel like you guys are really up to it because this oh, vaudeville this guy, thing. This also comes from a guy who has two body parts in his name, Tony. C- continue. Tony. Um, so, I, I don't know we if you want to give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> no. We've avoided that pretty well. Yeah. You're the one who brought it up. <laughs> Slash. Axel. Whichever name is today. <laughs> I'm Schlax- Schlaxel. Schlaxel. Okay. <laughs> Just a roadie, man. Do we need to have the music in the background so you guys can actually do the vaude? Do you, can you, would it distract you to try and do the vaudeville? I don't know what we're doing yet. Okay, so I was trying to have you guys read the script. Okay. Um, which I have shared to you uh-huh. for this particular scene. Okay. And read it in vaudeville style. 
So you shared it via text? Is that too hard? Text? Okay. Is it on, yeah. Yeah. It's, Where, it's, you, oh, okay. uh, it's in the, it's oh, in it's the, in the show. Notes. It says script. script. And then the link is right there. Gotcha. If it's too hard, we can give it a try and Giggity. just trash it or, you no, know. we're good. Oh. I think we'll do I don't that. think it being too hard is a problem. Oh, <laughs> for the love of God. <laughs> Tony's got a song about that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if you're good, he'll play it later. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dick to be hard. It's a dick uh, to be no. hard. Wah, wah. So my question is. Yeah, do you feel like you can channel your 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 vaudevillian accent or not accent, but you know tone to read? We will give this it a try. Scene? Okay, let's. Give we'll it give a try. it a try. We'll give it a try. All right, I have to really like. Let's uh, let's. Uh, does, can we do he, like a practicey run? I feel like uh, Christian Bale has a little bit of that vaudeville style in that even. Okay, to All right, to a degree. Yeah. All right, you can you can amp it up. I think we can. I think we can. All right. So what are we doing here? I think are we we're ready? gonna. Tony, are Who's you looking what? for something? Should I play some background music? That well, I was, gonna, I was actually going to, oh no, I was going to go for the uh, <laughs> You're going actual for the song. Yeah, yeah. So what was the inspiration for this? Did the, did you just like read the, the or think of it as, wow, this would be great in a vaudeville form? Uh, so actually what I did <laughs> yeah, was. Yeah, it's like right I was, in a vaudeville form. I was thinking about. Can take um, it to the top? Yeah, I was thinking about the movies, the horror movies, right? And they've, that Tony shared the list with us. And there are certain movies that have like scenes where the killer is. Telling the the audience, whoever they're going to attack, their plan, right? Right. So they're talking a lot. Okay. And sometimes they just get really, you know, they're always kind of charactery when Chummy. they do it, yeah. right? They're Because mm-hmm. they're so excited to share how they got to this point before they, <laughs> you know, make the first blow or follow through with whatever plan they've plotted out. And um, I thought, you know what? I need to find whatever that movie was. So it took me a few tries, but I feel like this one has a good tone that we can actually okay. maybe channel because- Right. Um, the other ones I was looking at were, um, uh, <clears throat> what's the silence of the lambs. Um, but it just didn't have enough flair. Didn't have energy. enough flair. This one has a lot of flair and a lot, a lot of energy. And I yeah. feel like we could really get into the vaudeville of it all. All right. So who's who? Um, I, mm, I feel like you guys should decide. I don't want to call anybody. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> yeah, just do it. Yeah, <laughs> just, just take a coin. Do you want to give it you a, got a go? Coin? You got a coin? Yeah. Uh, ding. Friends ding. are done. Okay. Uh, no, I don't have a coin. Um, okay. Let's say you can use my iPhone. Uh, just, f- just throw your iPhone. <clears throat> don't you dare throw your iPhone. <laughs> well, it's fine. All right. Uh, oh, pick a number. Pick a number. Pick okay. a number between one and five. D'Lo. Five. Okay. Two. Okay, I had two. Um, so you're. <laughs> so I'm okay. So you're Owen. I'm He's Owen. Bateman. All right. Okay. <laughs> you get All the right. big roll. The big meaty roll. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead and give us. Aye, 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 aye. Should we practice the vaudeville before we do the vaudeville? Should we practice a little bit of "Hey, Dilo"? No, I'm da-da-da. ready to go. Oh, da-da-da. 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 you guys are always right. ready. I love it. Do you want to give Woo! us? Do you want to give us the uh, the the script? Uh, okay, the you know, interior and all that stuff. Okay, so Set here's the scene. The, here's the scene in the here's script. The scene. Interior, base Bateman's apartment, night. Justine the living Bateman? room was. Are you going to read the other directions down below too? Sure. No, just because there's on. more down below. Okay. You okay. want me to? You really want me to? I can. Yeah. I don't know. We'll the see. The living room has been meticulously covered with newspaper. Owen, Owen is slumped drunkenly in a white Hermes chair, a glass in his hand. Bateman is looking through his CDs. Who's who again? So, uh, <laughs> D'Lo is Bateman. Okay. You I, are Owen. Owen. And am I waiting for the music to come in or not? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Content straight. In action. Hey, Owen. <laughs> you like Huey Lewis in the news? Now yeah, they're okay. Well, their early work, it was a little too new wave for my taste. But then sports came out in 83. I think they really came into their own, commercially and artistically. Bateman walks to his bathroom, taking a large axe out of the shower. He takes two volume. The whole album has a clear, crisp sound and a new sheen of consummate professionalism that gives the song a big boost. (laughs) Bateman comes back out and leans the axe against the wall. He walks to the foyer and puts on a raincoat, watching Owen from behind all the time. Oh, okay. Huey Lewis the News, they have been compared to Elvis Costello. But I think Huey has a bit more cynical sense of humor. Owen is absentmindedly leafing through the Barney's catalog. Hey, Albert Sam. Hey, yes, Owen. Why are there copies of the style section all over the place? Do you have a dog? 
you have a chow or something? I don't know, Owen. Why are there copies of this <laughs> style right. section all over the place? <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, is that a raincoat you got there? Yeah, no, no, Owen, uh, I don't have a dog, and yes, yes, that's a raincoat. Bateman moves to the CD player. He takes a CD out of its case and slides it into the machine. Now, in 87, Huey released this for their more... <laughs> <laughs> In 1987, Huey released this for their most accomplished album. I think I air undisputed masterpiece to Hit to Be Square, a song that's so catchy that most people don't listen to the lyrics. But they should because it's not just about the pleasures of conformity and the importance of the trend. It's all a personal statement about the band itself. Bateman puts on hip to be square. Bateman crosses the room and picks up the axe. We follow Bateman from behind as he walks up to Owen, the axe raised over his head. Hey, Paul! As Owen turns around from Owen's POV, we see Bateman swing the axe toward his face. Blood sprays across the, his white raincoat. From behind Owen, we see Bateman yanks up the axe. And I think scene. <laughs> Yeah, right. I mean, we could go on, but yeah. <laughs> Fucking bastard. There you go. <laughs> you know, I really I really like the motivation from Owen. I think he has so much depth <laughs> and so much to offer in this character. So much to offer. I, so much to offer. The weird part is, is when we were watching the clip, I was thinking Owen had more to say, and then I'm reading through it. I'm like, wow, no, this goes no, on for didn't. Quite, a, quite a while. It, does, it did. It did. I would ask if you want to reverse, but I feel like we took a long time on that one. So, yeah, it did take you a know, while. It took a fun. while. That was good. It, it, was was fun. it was fun to try. It, it was, was fun. fun to try. And we had done, so this was also part of, because last year we did Scream, Um. For our mm. Halloween, and we had read scenes, right. I think, from Scream as different, you know, hats out of, or names from a hat. Yeah, we did kind it. Of thing. And we tried. Uh, but this celebs, time, right? I just decided to put it all on you guys. Hell yeah. Because you're way better at the voices than I. That <laughs> is bold. You are great. Hawk -a -doo, doo, Hawk -a -doo. Doo, doo, doo. I don't know. I'm trying don't to find know. it. All right. What? Um, yeah. Huh? Yep. What are you trying to find? Oh, you're trying to find it. No, I wasn't trying to find that. Okay. All right. Um, trying to find the hot garbage? The hot garbage. The hot garbage. So we were also treated last night. Um, today, <laughs> <laughs> oh God! So Saturday we were treated uh, cool. to a revisit from a famous, to a <gasps> beloved character from Halloween's of past. <gasps> and I want to play a little oh. clip because it made a certain number of us quite giddy. And I don't even know if D'Lo knows it happened. I don't. I don't. Well, you don't. now you will. No, if I know. if I can get it to play. Oh, I do know. Oh, darn it. All right. Well, right. There we go. Okay. It's fine. Oh, David Pumpkin. Oh, yeah. It's the return. You stupid. David Pumpkin. <laughs> David S. Pumpkin. Any questions? questions? <laughs> <laughs> and so, who was the who was the one guy on his um, I guess on his left? No. Uh, uh, I think it's Mikey Day. Like every okay, so then who's on his right? Because he returned. Uh, that is I his Bobby name. Moynihan. Thank you, Bobby Moynihan. And so also a piece too. of toast. Silence. <laughs> <laughs> so the I'm same two returned. Bobby Moynihan. Oh, which I thought was awesome. Piece of toast. Piece of toast. Piece of toast. You know, there was a, an argument between Moynihan and a piece of piece toast. <laughs> oh, God. So it's a, a revisit of David S. Pumpkins by Tom Hanks. And again, Bobby Moynihan joined the show last night. Or, well, for us last night. For us last night. Uh, Saturday. Um, to, I don't know, just kind of bring this back around because oh, it's so ridiculous. I love it. That's one of my favorites. It is a yeah. good one. Hello, who are you? <laughs> David, David Pumpkins from, from before. before. <laughs> I, I think he just wants to know what your deal is. Like, Annabelle is a possessed doll. David Pumpkins is... Taking it one day at a time. <laughs> and the skeletons are... Next to him. <laughs> so, so Watch this. great. <laughs> Just catchy little 
Nonsense. Nonsense. <laughs> I tell you, if I had two friends, I would dress up like this. <laughs> Aww. He was dancing to the uh, David Pumpkins. <laughs> the swishing. <laughs> For those playing at home. Yeah, there's a uh, gif David of... Uh, uh, what's his name? What's what's the uh, actor? <laughs> like I am stuck. It was on... it was Bateman. We'll just go with Bateman, yeah, Bateman from the thing yeah, that we Bateman just did from uh, from American Silence Psycho. It's a gif of him doing his doing shimmy, shimmy dance, dance going with with the right along with the David S. Pumpkins uh, yeah. theme there. Stop taking David Pumpkins' side, dude. David S. Pumpkins, babe. David S. Pumpkins. David S. Pumpkins. Our next stop is Dead Ahead. Open cell 665. <laughs> this is the star cute. of your nightmares is David Pumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> Freddy Krueger. <laughs> and he's bringing in David Pumpkins. <laughs> 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 Which makes no sense. <laughs> and he's got Freddy's fingers. <laughs> right, yeah, he's Pumpkins got the... Says Freddy's hand. The, yeah. Oh, I didn't see David Pumpkins coming, man. That was Why are you so board with David Pumpkin. Babe, just ignore him. I can't. He's most of this ride. <laughs> so why is there so much David Pumpkins in this? Hey, look, man. We spent a lot of money on Pennywise and Freddy Krueger, okay? <laughs> there wasn't a lot of money room left in the budget. Now, set it up. We hear the infamous Cell 666. It's just the two skeletons. Okay, why is it just you guys now? Don't worry about it. Yeah. God. I feel like they were talking as slow as we talk when we try and say something at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> there is, is a, a better, better podcast. podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, Don't worry about, about it. it. <laughs> and then, of course, there's David behind him. Right behind him. Oh. All right. Classic. Enough of that. I, I did heard, actually catch it. So I heard oh, somewhere yeah. that I, um, I did not. after the David uh, David Pumpkins first aired, like that was the hottest costume the next Halloween. Oh, I could see that. Yeah, yeah. totally. <laughs> it's what is they don't they call Tom Hanks like America's dad or something, something like, like that? that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, I it's just that. so nonsensical. And, and, and when we were like hilarious. talking about dressing up today, yeah. I, I like I saw the skit and went, "Damn, I wish I had time to right? go get that because they would love that." But. Oh yeah, anybody. Yeah, <laughs> we we would have been the we should have uh, yeah maybe we'll coordinate next time. We did well I'll, today. I'll be David S. Pumpkin, yeah, pumpkins. Yeah, yeah, that'd be pretty. And then awesome. we can be the David skeletons. Pumpkins. Pumpkins. Okay. And we're I get to do. I got to do is to this. Him. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh my gosh. Okay, that wraps up this. I'll do want to say. Uh, oh, Tony. Hi. What's happening next you? episode? You want to share ne- with us a little bit about what's happening sure. in the next episode? Sure. Next episode. We've got. Uh, let's see. I'll just. I'll just do the whole he's, show. He's, rundown make, he's here. making it up as he goes right yeah. now. <laughs> Dave so, Foley will be here. Dave Foley will be here. Woo! We're gonna find out. Yeah, that screwball's hitting me. <laughs> if you're, we're gonna find out if you are Eat the a hole. Yeah. Also, oh. uh, we're gonna talk about a new show on Hulu that I've been watching. I don't know if you've got a chance to see it. It's one of my favorites as right. of late. And we'll take a TikTok challenge. Oh, shit. Gesundheit. Yay. Oh, God. All that and more on the next episode. But first, if you want to get us on email, you can email us at there is a better podcast at gmail.com. D on the Twitter. On the Twitter, you can get us at, I, I don't remember. There's, There's a, a better, better number, number one. one. Oh, right. Yeah. How about on the Tegram, D Lo? Uh, There's a better podcast. There. Uh, uh, podcast. There you go. Oh, I think he, he glitched. Yeah, he glitched. He glitched. He glitched. It's okay. Error 404. That's all right. So we will see you next time. And uh, until then, uh, like us, love us, or hate <laughs> us. We're both bad. There, there is, is a better, a better, a better pod. podcast. Podcast. <laughs> 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 <laughs>